Hallelujah to Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name. We give God all the glory. Let God be praised forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please kindly like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. <laughs> Family, hear me very well. A lot of them are crying. A lot of them are crying. Hallelujah. Did you know why? Because God has made it so impossible for them to destroy you. A lot of them are biting their fingers. A lot of them are saying how I wish we did not start with you. Because what they start, they cannot finish it. I am telling you. When the enemy started a journey, they have this mindset that they are going to finish it. They are like, oh, this proposal, we are going to finish it. And they make an agreement of finishing every of their proposal. But one thing is certain, God is not a man. That, uh, that journey, that proposal, they cannot finish it, you know. Why? Because God is not involved. Because God is not involved. The Bible says, surely they shall gather. It said, because the gathering is not by him. He did not give an approval for that guiding. He did not say, oh, go on and kill my son. Go on and destroy my daughter. Go on and do whatever you want to do. He said, the guardian will definitely not stand. The guardian will scatter. The guardian will fail. The guardian will not stand. Hallelujah. The guardian will not stand. Look at a lot of them. They want you to feel as if you are the reason why they are crying. They want you to feel as if you are the reason why they are crying, why they are in pain. They want you to feel that way. They want you to have this mindset like, oh, you are the one why I'm crying. You are the one why I feel so heartbroken. You are the one why I can no longer stand up. You did this. You did that. It's a lie. It is a lie. It is a lie, child of God. The reason why so many of them are crying. It is because what they started, they can't finish it. You can be sleeping and the enemy will start a journey. You are just sleeping in your bed. And they are just in their meeting, thinking, doing all their master plan, drawing. This is how we will go. You are sleeping. But the moment you woke up, you are like, well, God, take control over my life. So all the plan that they, 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 they put down, while you were even sleeping or while you were walking, just for you to pray one prayer, confusion has entered. The, the paper, the, the plan has started to crack. Why? Because you have told God, God, walk with me, take over my life. You can wake up a day and say, God, thank you for today. Today is in your hands. Even if you don't have the full time to start speaking in tongues inside your room, you don't have the time to try to read the whole verse in the Bible. You can just quote one verse. I believe every child of God has verse in their head. You can just quote one verse. Even if you God today is the day that you have made. Ah, you are already late for work. God, thank you. As we are betting, our Father, thank you. Today is in your hands. I'm going to my job. God, thank you. Holy Spirit, go with me. Let's go together. Holy Ghost directs me as I get to that office. Holy Ghost, take control. You are not like marching up and down. You are not praying for one hour. Just that which you have spoken to your Father have already bring confusion into what they have already agreed. So in other words, they cannot complete it because you did not agree. You have told God to take control and God is not in control of your life. And God will not agree with the plans of the enemy. Hallelujah. I don't know who you are, but this is something that you need to know, child of God. It is impossible for them to destroy you. That is why a lot of them are crying. The Bible says, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. It is impossible to destroy you. It is impossible for them to kill you. They cannot kill you. I pray for you, child of God. That mark of, the, of our Lord Jesus Christ, it is upon you. No man will be able to kill you before your time in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. 
by the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.